To the Death is the 95th episode of the television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, the 22nd episode of the fourth season. Sisko and his crew join a Jemadar team to prevent renegade Jemadar from using a gateway that can transport them anywhere in the galaxy. This episode marks the debut of Wayown, played by Jeffrey Combs. To the Death achieved a Nielsen rating of 6 points when it originally premiered. Topic Plot After a group of Jemadar in a stolen freighter attack Deep Space Nine, Sisko pursues the vessel into the Gamma Quadrant aboard the Defiant with Worf, Dax, Odo, and O'Brien. The crew comes upon a disabled Jemadar warship which is transmitting a distress signal. The Defiant then transports aboard the survivors, six Jemadar soldiers and Wayown, their Vorta master. Wayown reveals that they were attacked by the same Jemadar who surprised Deep Space Nine. He then tells Sisko privately that the attackers are Jemadar renegades who have turned against the Dominion and are trying to restore an ancient Iconian gateway, a sophisticated transporter that would give them the power to go anywhere instantaneously. This could give them the potential to take over the Gamma Quadrant and eventually even the Federation. Sisko agrees to join Wayown and destroy the Gateway, which is located on the surface of a remote planet. Wayown also offers Sisko the position as the leader of the Alpha Quadrant, as Wayown believes the Federation will soon fall to the Dominion. Sisko declines Wayown and tells him not to be so certain that the Federation will fall. Nevertheless, Sisko agrees they have a more dangerous opponent. The Defiant crew then learns that they will be working with Wayown and the six Jemadar, and they learn that the Jemadar do not know about the Gateway. They think they are only out to stop the disloyal renegades. Later, Sisko establishes order by insisting that the Jemadar first, Omatiklan, follow his command and hints that things will change after their assignment is completed, and they form an uneasy alliance. Omatiklan tells Sisko that the only way his troops will respect Sisko's crew is to fight alongside them on the planet, then suggests they work in mixed teams, only Wayown refuses. But when Omadiklin reveals that his men already know about the Gateway's existence, Sisko agrees, and the Jemadar and Defiant crews begin working together. The Jemadar and the Defiant crews both drill aboard the Defiant. Omadiklin again shows displeasure with how the Defiant crew performs and insists that things be done the Jemadar way. This leads to tension between both crews, especially between Worf and Tomantorax. However Jadzia gets along with Varakakara, the Jemadar assigned to her, and they even have a conversation which depicts the differences between the two. Jadzia is surprised that the Jemadar rarely live longer than 15 years due to their constant involvement in combat. In fact, they are ready to fight when they are only three days old. Varakakara tells her that he would be honored to reach the age of 20, and is astonished when Jadzia admits she herself is over 300 years old. Their alliance is tested when Tomantorax provokes Worf until Worf strikes him. After breaking up the fight, Sisko and Omatiklan demand an explanation. Tomantorax and Worf both admit they started the fight. Tomantorax states that he must be punished for disobeying orders. Omatiklan then kills Tomantorax in the fashion of Jemadar discipline. Omatiklan then expects Sisko to kill Worf, however, Sisko refuses. As a display of Starfleet discipline, Sisko confines Worf to quarters when he is off duty. 
Omatiklin is disgusted and informs Sisko he will kill him when the mission is over. Dax lets Worf know of Omatiklin's threat and warns the captain against joining the away mission on the planet. Worf also tells Sisko that if Omatiklin does make good on his threat, he will not live to boast about it. Sisko insists on going anyway, but assures Worf that he will watch his back. The Defiant soon arrives at the planet. When the teams transport to the surface, however, they learn that their phasers and combadges have been rendered unusable by the energy from the gateway just as a team of renegade Jemadar materializes before them and attacks. A short but vicious battle then ensues, and all the key players on Sisko's team manage to survive this initial confrontation, but two unnamed crewmen are killed. The group makes its way to the gateway chamber, engaging in sword and hand-to-hand -hand combat all the way. At the gateway, a renegade Jemadar attacks by surprise and Sisko saves Omatiklin's life while risking his own. Omatiklin wants to know why Sisko would save his life. Sisko tells him, If you have to ask, you'll never understand. The entire group then escapes the building moments before O'Brien's explosive device destroys the gateway, allowing their weapons to function again. Omatiklin then kills Weyoun with his phaser, for questioning his loyalty and that of his soldiers. He compliments Sisko for the way they fought together, but reminds him that the next time they meet, they will be enemies again. Omatiklin and his soldiers stay behind to hunt down the remaining Jemadar for their disloyalty to the Founders. <laughs> Franchise connections In the Star Trek, the Next Generation episode, Contagion, which aired March 20, 1989, an Iconian gateway is encountered. 